This is the Morning Swim Show for Thursday, July 29th, 2010. I'm your host, Peter Bush. In the Phoenix Monitor today, we'll talk to Dana Vollmer. She will definitely be one of the stars to watch at the U.S. Summer Nationals next week in Irvine. And Dana Vollmer joins us right now in the Phoenix Monitor from Richmond, California. Hey, Dana, welcome back to the show. How are you doing? Good, thank you. You've been killing the 100 fly this year. Is that an intentional focus on that race, or just that the one that's feeling best? It's kind of been the one that's feeling best right now. I think during the summer, during really hard training, my freestyle tends to need more rest than my butterfly. And uh, so while the freestyle events were kind of hurting for a little bit, um, freestyle starting to feel better as we head into taper, and uh, hopefully the fly will continue to get better as well. Will you swim the 200 fly? No, I have decided not to swim the 200 fly. It kind of works in to where I have one day off in the middle of nationals, and uh, I've just decided to focus on the other events. All right, so lay out the schedule for me. 100 fly is the first day on Tuesday. The following day is 200 free, and then I'm going to swim the 50 free, kind of more as a setup for my 100 freestyle, but uh, I feel like the 50 is kind of anybody's race. And then I'll have a day off, which would be when the 200 fly was. And then the, the very last day is the 100 freestyle. Okay, so you think you can make the team in all four events? That's the plan. <laughs> all right, the 100 fly, though, that, that's the one that's going to get you started. And um, so you say that one has been feeling the best all year. Has it felt better than at any point in your career? Yeah, I've, I've changed a lot of things kind of technically. I think it started, um, I had a point in the season where I was incredibly sore, and I tried to figure out ways to swim still fast, um, feeling that bad, and I think I figured out a lot of different things with how I'm catching, um, ways that comes more from rhythm and from my body than from my arms, and as I'm getting more and more rested, I can bring more muscle back into it, and uh, hopefully the combination of the two will be even faster than it's been. But I think I, I've changed enough things with it that it feels different, but way better than it has in the past. Can you specifically explain, or even better, stand up and illustrate a little bit something that's how you're catching the water differently, as you say? Um. I would say that I'm not reaching as much out into the front. Like I, I used to think about trying to be as long as possible, and and now it's more about keeping my shoulders kind of in my body instead of letting them come way out here when I catch out in the front. And uh, you know, I, I I feel like I land more kind of in one piece and more connected, and and I'm able to. It's kind of a smaller a smaller rhythm. It's not the amplitude's not as big, and just kind of I like the image of like skipping a rock across the water. Um, instead of diving down and trying to reach forward, I just try to really skip along the surface. To try and keep your body more compact, essentially? In a way, yeah. Does that, I, I does that preserve to... shoulder strength? I think partially, yeah. Um, I've added Pilates. I've been doing a lot more weights, and I definitely feel stronger than I've ever been in the past, and so I'm sure that that adds to it also. Hmm. So the freestyle has been a a little off, still really good, but not quite as as fast as it has been in years past, but you say it's starting to come around. Do you expect best times in the 100 and 200 free? That's my goal in all my events. I mean, coming off of Worlds, um, wearing the Jacob suit, wearing lasers, um, I, I've, <laughs> I mean, people say, you know, that swimming's not as fast or whatever, but um, I definitely think that I can go best times. I didn't personally feel like the suit's benefited me that much and so I think that uh, I mean that's my goal heading in it, it tends to keep me calmer if I just think about my own race and my own strategies and just really wanting to get up and go best time in, in all my events is the uh, is the wedding date set yet sort of um, we're thinking August 20th of 2011 um, but we're still looking at places um, I went around with uh, my fiance's mom this past weekend and we looked at a lot of vineyards in Livermore and uh, they were gorgeous and got me really excited and uh, uh, it kind of depends on the place that we find and if that date is available but that's the date that we're hoping for. So you're thinking next summer probably? Yeah, yeah. I uh, figure it's kind of the, the next time I can take a little break um, and just be a bride and focus on my wedding and then really focus on 2012 after that. Yeah. So after World Championships? 
Yes. So you're, yes. so you're pretty much saying, I'm going to make the world championship team, so i got to wait until after that. Right, yeah. World championships would be in July, and that's the plan, is to definitely be on that world championships team. And, and so then after that is when normally I would get a little bit of a break. And uh, so right after nationals, and if any of my teammates make world U's, um, we kind of had to work around swimming schedules when Terry was going to be in town, when the people in my bridal party were going to be in town, and and so August, late August, seemed to be the best time. I know it's a real drag having to plan all that and still try and uh, break world records, huh? <laughs> it's actually kind of nice. <laughs> it distracts me. I think sometimes if I get too focused on on just trying to train fast, I kind of overdo it, and it it stresses me out. So kind of having something else that I can focus on and something else that I'm excited about to, to kind of keep, keep a better balance than just solely focusing on swimming so much. So when, you're, so when you make the Pan Pax team and you got that couple week break here in a few weeks, you know, maybe lay out some dress swatches and let other girls on the team choose? That, that would be a plan. I haven't really thought that far yet. Still just oh. focused on uh, nationals um, and making the team. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I went to Texas with my mom, and I tried on my first wedding dresses and fell in love with the first one I put on, and uh, it's definitely in the back of my mind, and two of my teammates are bridesmaids, and so they're working on what dresses um, we both like, and, you know, you always hear that bridesmaids' dresses are horrible, and uh, so I would kind of not like to have horrible bridesmaids' dresses, so kind of getting their opinion, and uh, Hannah Wilson is helping me with music choices, and it's been really fun. How about like, uh, uh, you know, blue 70 for a, bl a bridesmaid's dress or something like that? Mix it up a little bit, you know, bring them back? Well, you know, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if all, not all my bridesmaids are swimmers, too. So who, my, who, are the two, who are the two teammates that are bridesmaids? Uh, Erica Dagg and Hannah Wilson. Nice. You're like three quarters of the way to a pretty good relay there. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a pretty uh, swimming uh, group of people there. Like Ar Ariana Cookers, Rebecca Sony, and uh, you know Katie Hoff are all really great friends of mine, and they'll all be there. And then with Andy swimming for Stanford, like Ben Wildman Tobriner and Sean Phillips, like there's a lot of people that are all going to be there, and uh, it's going to be a good-looking wedding. Do you toss? Uh, yeah, well, good point. Do you toss goggles instead of a bouquet? <laughs> we thought about like what our little um, wedding gifts are going to be, and we were like, maybe we'll give like little speedo goggles or something. <laughs> well, have fun with that, and uh, have a good week next week. All right. Thank you. All right, that's Dana Vollmer joining us in the Finice Monitor. That's it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush, reminding you to keep your head down at the finish. <laughs>